Hi there, I'm the CEO of Comcast. I'm here to explain what net neutrality is and why we'd like it removed. Net neutrality is a dirty, ugly, stinky thing. It says we're not allowed to separate the web traffic that you pay for into our own fast and slow lanes, thus slowing down websites that don't pay us extra. Isn't that dumb? That's like saying I have to drive the same speed limit as you, even if I'm the only one that can afford a sports car. You know what makes more sense? A super lane reserved only for supercars. Kind of like a carpool lane that you can use by carpooling with your money. Let's imagine a beautiful world without net neutrality. Look at this, no more wasting so much time trying to decide what website to go to. Just pick from a small list of approved ones. Now isn't that less stressful? Right now, the internet is like a restaurant with an infinitely long menu. By the time you find the best thing to order, you could have already died of starvation. After net neutrality is dead, Netflix will definitely be in the fast lane. You can be sure it's not going to take long to buffer when you start up that movie, which is good because it's going to cost twice as much. Speaking of which, some smaller websites might slow down, but you know which one won't? Comcast.com. You can go there and enjoy a selection of our celebrity gossip and a selection of our celebrity gossip pictures. You'll finally have a reason to visit our homepage other than paying your bill. Plus, think about how paying extra to get into the fast lane would make you feel cool. Like when you have to slip a bouncer a 20 to get into a generic nightclub. Get rid of net neutrality and you could have that feeling every month. Come on, if nothing else, we should get rid of it for just being a boring name. Net neutrality? It practically has neuter in the middle of it. You know what should replace net neutrality? Neutrality, net worth. Look, we cable companies are just trying to be logical. We've always said that a pay-per-use model makes the most sense. You pay exactly for the services you use and not for those that you don't. We've always believed this is the most fair system, except of course, when it comes to choosing your cable TV package. Doodaloo, doodaloo, doo. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Comcast's perspective on this, and if you want to learn more about net neutrality, I would definitely stay away from savetheinternet.com. I mean, the last thing I'd want you to do is go there and learn that you can leave a comment for the FCC with your thoughts and feelings about this issue. But if you do that anyway, I guess you could leave a comment below and let me know what you said. Thanks.